guys, it's been a while since I've done a tutorial on this channel. I hope you guys all enjoy my how-to videos. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. And stay tuned after the video for all the things. Bye, ladybugs! Okay, guys, this is what you're going to need for your special effects makeup. You're going to need liquid latex. You're going to need fake blood. You're going to need petroleum jelly, a palette, scissors, cotton balls, makeup brushes, paint brushes, q-tips, anything that you can use to apply the makeup. You're going to need an oil or water-based paint and last but not least you're going to need some rubbing alcohol to get the makeup off of your talent once you're done. Okay guys, what you're going to do is first you're going to make sure that your subject has a clean face after you put the hair up. You are then going to get a q-tip dip it into liquid latex and create a line where you would like the latex to lay next you're going to take the toilet paper and place it over the liquid latex be sure to get as flat and smooth as possible because you are going to be layering this be sure to tear off any of the excess toilet paper from your talent's face and continue to layer 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 as much as you want to get the texture that you need between layering you may air dry but you have to allow it to dry completely before you continue placing more layers on Fun fact, I do like to use a hair dryer sometimes to dry the layers a little bit faster. Next, next you're gonna take some liquid foundation, the color of your talent skin, and you're going to place it on your talent where you made the scar. Then you're going to take a pair of scissors and very, please, very carefully cut the scar open. If the scar tears, it's okay it's a scar it's not supposed to look neat and pretty it's supposed to look gross and disgusting as i said it's supposed to look gross and disgusting so once you're finished cutting it open go back and gently pull open the slit that you cut in the face and take the color palette the paint palette that you use activate it and gently place it on the inside to make irritation and red inside of this inside of the scar once you're done with that get your liquid blood get your paint blood and get a cotton ball and place it on your subjects wound Make sure to get it inside and out. Get it as gory and as bloody as you want. It, it, if it needs to look very disgusting, put more blood on there. Make sure to drip it, pour it, whatever you need to do to make it look as sick and disgusting as possible. And also to make it look realistic. If the latex and tissue paper rip anymore or tear, that's perfectly fine because no scar looks neat and tidy. And that's it guys, here is our scar. It looks kind of gross and disgusting, but it's supposed to, it's a scar. Have fun at Halloween and on your movie sets. I hope you guys really enjoyed my how to do special effects makeup. I plan to make more videos like this in the future. So if you want to see them, comment down below. And while you're down there, click that subscribe button, move over a little bit, click that little bell so you can get every single notification of everything that I post on this channel. I love you, ladybugs. Be kind, be brave, be awesome. Mwah. Bye, ladybugs.